Hello students, please get out your concept catalog. We're going to define potential energy, kinetic energy, and show how they're related to work. So let's start with potential energy. Potential energy has a symbol PE. And we can define it this way. An object's ability to do work depending on its weight and height. An object's ability to do work depending on its weight and height. Here's what the equation looks like. PE equals M times G, gravitational acceleration, times height. And we should remind ourselves that G is 9.8 meters per second square. All right, let's, uh, let's take a look at something here. I'm going to use green just to uh, make it stand out. When we see weight here, that would be m times g. And of course height is h. Let's take a look at the units for this. Mass is measured in kilograms. g is meters per second square. Height is meters. When we combine all those together we get a unit called a joule. The same unit as for work. And we can also see that kilogram times meter per second square is a newton. So this can break down to Newton times a meter, and a Newton times a meter breaks down to a joule. Okay, so that's how the units work for this equation. Let's take a look at an example. So in class I'll do a demonstration for you involving a bowling ball and clay and my foot and the effect of height on the potential energy of that bowling ball. For now, we're going to do an example that is um, just a straightforward example of mostly how the math works out. So here's our example. What is the potential energy of a 5 kilogram bowling ball lifted 2 meters high? two meters high. So this is pretty straightforward. PE equals M times G times H. We can plug in the mass is five kilograms. G on this planet is 9.8 meters per second square. And the height is two meters. So we multiply all three of these numbers together. 5 times 2 is 10, 10 times 9.8 is 98. And those units all combine together to give joules. So let's spend a moment to think about these factors, mass, g, and height. If the mass of the ball was twice as much, if it were a 10 kilogram bowling ball, it would have twice as much energy. And whatever... Um, it, if it were to land on, say, your foot, it would have the potential to do twice as much work on it, twice as much pain, perhaps. So we can show that by putting a 2 in front of the mass, and that would make the potential energy also double. So whatever this value is, 98 joules, would be twice that. And uh, in a similar way, if you think about height, if we were to hold that bowling ball for maybe three times higher, then that would also affect the... Um, the potential energy of it. So three times the height would mean three times the potential energy. So if this were 98 joules, now it would be three times more than that. Uh, and G usually doesn't change. You know, it's 9.8 always on the planet. It does vary a little bit depending on your place on the planet. Farther away, higher up in elevation is weaker. But if you go to a different planet, say uh, a place like the moon, where G is smaller, you could hold that bowling ball from 
the same height, but it won't hurt nearly as much when it's landing on your foot because its potential energy was less because the gravitational acceleration was less. Was less. So that's the example I wanted to do for this. Um, tune into the next video where we're going to take a look at how potential energy relates to work.